What's up? I'm two-time Olympian and world champion speed skater Joey Mantia here in New York City at the Burn Studios. If you don't know who Burn is, I'll put a link in the description below. Check them out. They are a great fitness company that brings the at-home slideboard experience right to you. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and this is going to be 15 minutes of core. Let's get right into it. Now, before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about core activation and how we can use that to keep the back muscles safe as we're going through this workout. And it's very simple. All you have to do is just pretend somebody's going to hit you in the stomach, do about a quarter flex, and then you're going to pull your belly button right into your spine. And most of the time, I'll be talking about activating the core to keep the small of your back on the ground or up in the air. You just want to keep that engagement to make sure that everything stays safe and you're not going to hurt yourself as you go through this workout. So if you hear me say activate the core, that's what I'm talking about. Belly button into the spine. Now this entire workout just requires your body weight. If you have a yoga mat or a stretching mat, you can put that on the floor. Or if you have a soft enough surface like I do, you probably don't need one. This is going to be three parts. I'll walk you through it as we go. We're going to start off with a Russian twist, which is this position. You're going back and forth and I'll count you into it. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. Russian twist. We're on our way. Remembering, keep that back, pull it into the spine, keep that core engaged and try to limit the motion of your knees and your feet as much as possible. Just try to keep the body quiet as you're going back and forth. Just tapping your hands on the ground. The next one is going to be heel taps. And you can see what that looks like on the screen right now. Coming up in three, two, one, into heel taps. Keeping the small of the back on the floor. Pulling the spine, pulling the belly button right into the spine. And we're 30 seconds here as well. Next one is going to be a V-sit circle. And that one is also 30 seconds. Keep the core engaged, belly button into the spine, and right into V-sit circles. Try to control the movement as much as possible, keeping that belly button pulled into your spine. Gonna sound like a broken record, but you have to keep that core engaged the entire time. Try to breathe behind that little shield you're creating so you're not holding your breath the entire time as well. This one's 30 seconds, we're almost done. Going into a hollow hold, small the back on the floor and holding this position. This is probably the hardest one. So once we get through this, it's smooth sailing. Belly button into the, into the small of the back, right into your spine. Almost like you're lifting the top part of your back off the floor and just making a nice hollow shape with your body. 30 seconds for this one. Almost there. Five to go. Then we rest and rest. Nice job. All right. The next segment is going to be with our chest facing the floor and we'll go through the same type of process. I'll walk you guys through it and uh, yeah, on our way here. Doing a great job so far. We're gonna rest for about 45 more seconds and then get right into it. Remembering when it gets hard, you're focusing on the technique, keeping that core engaged, not getting sloppy and letting your back drop to the floor or getting with your back arched up to the ceiling, but you're nice and stable and just controlling the motions that you're making. So about 25 more seconds of rest here. Then we're gonna move into a bear tap position. You're gonna be on all fours and the position will look like this and you're just trying to engage and not let everything move around as you make this motion. You're trying to be nice and quiet and just tap the knees gently. That'll be one minute of bear taps starting in three, two, one in that position and just pace yourself on this. You need to take a break halfway through. That's okay. Try to challenge yourself and make it the entire minute. Pretty simple here. You're just anticipating what it's going to feel like when you pick your hand off the ground and tap your knee and try to counteract that twisting motion that you're going to want to actually be encouraged to do when you pick your hand off the ground. And you're doing that by keeping the belly button pulled into the spine and keeping your whole core engaged from your shoulders all the way to your toes. Almost there, 15 seconds. 
you to feel it in your legs now. Feel it in the core. Almost there, five seconds. We're gonna go into plank hip taps in a plank position. And just get your hip towards the floor. On this one, it's really important to keep that belly button engaged and pull that belly button all the way into the spine, core engagement. This one's tough on the back, so if you have back problems, maybe ease up on this one, be careful. We're 30 seconds here, 10 to go. We're gonna go into a push-up position next. Push-up, sit, twist. So here, do a push-up, sit back into it. Push-up, sit in the opposite way, keeping the core engaged. Don't let your hands drift back. You feel a nice stretch in your lats and obliques. Belly button pulled into the spine, staying engaged the entire time. We're 30 seconds here, five to go. We're gonna move right into in and arounds. Then you're gonna pull straight in, extend as far as you can and bring it around with your foot straight. And you're gonna repeat that for one minute. Keeping the belly button engaged. Pull it into the spine. <sighs> Try to keep the hip as quiet as possible. So when you're bringing this around, you're not twisting and moving your body. Try to keep everything nice and strong and straight and control the motion. On the extension back here, really stretch the hamstring out, bring it around and keep that core engagement. About 20 seconds to go here. Then we're gonna switch sides. Doing great, keep that concentration on the core activation. Five to go. Then we're gonna switch sides. Switch to the left or whichever one you weren't doing before. Knee straight in, extend that hamstring, bring it around straight. Core engagement, belly button into the spine. We're here for one minute total. Almost halfway now. Belly button pulled into the spine, stay engaged, keep breathing. Extend that hamstring, get that nice stretch. 10 seconds to go. We're gonna move into a downward dog knee tap. So we're gonna go here, down dog, right knee to the shoulder or to the elbows. Left knee to each elbow. And we're gonna repeat that for 30 seconds. My mistake, we're a minute here. Not letting you guys off that easy. So we're gonna go one minute with down dog knee taps. Keeping that belly button pulled into the spine. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me saying it by now, but it's important. About 20 seconds to go, stay with me. We have one more before we rest. Next one's gonna be Superman's. We'll move right into that. And finally give our shoulders a chance to rest for a second. Because mine are screaming. All right, almost there, three seconds. Into a Superman. So we're gonna go belly down. We're gonna pull everything off the ground for three seconds and come back down and just repeat this for 30 seconds total. Then we go into a one minute rest. Almost there. Keep that belly button pulled up into your spine. Really flex and try to get all your muscles to extend and engage. Almost there, four to go. And rest. All right, I'm sweating pretty good here. Hope you guys are too. We have one more segment and then a small rest and then we finish off with a plank, then we're done. So doing great, almost nine minutes in now. 
And uh, yeah, you guys are looking strong. Remember to keep that core engaged, belly button into the spine. And we have about 35 more seconds of rest here. We're gonna go to our backs and start with a, a glute bridge. So it's gonna be this position. You're gonna push your, your pelvis up to the ceiling and try to keep this, this position as you lower and raise one foot for 30 seconds. So that'll be coming up next. I like to pull my toe off the ground to engage the glute a little bit better and just really give myself a little bit more of a challenge for this glute bridge. So here we go in two, one. We're gonna put the left leg up, pelvis to the ceiling and slowly lower the opposite leg down to the ground. This is more of an isometric exercise to target the glute and really force yourself to not sag. You don't wanna come down like this. Keep everything strong and up as you're working through this exercise. Belly button into the spine, keep breathing. We're gonna switch sides in two, one, and switch. Same thing. Engage everything, then slowly control this foot coming down to the floor and back up. We're 30 seconds here. Extend those hips. I have really tight hips, so my, my hips have a tendency to wanna to come down. I gotta keep pushing them up as much as I can. That's why I love this exercise forces me to engage and keep an eye out. We're gonna go to a ham bridge for one minute. So we're gonna walk it out and you should really feel it in your hamstrings here. Just back and forth, switching legs and extending the recovery leg or the leg that you're not using. And trying to keep your butt from touching the ground, you should really feel it in your hamstrings here. We're here for one minute. Then we're gonna go to windshield wipers. for one minute, and then we're on the home stretch. 30 seconds to go. Really challenge yourself. Walk those feet out far away from your body. If you feel them creeping closer to you, extend them out on the set down foot. You should really feel it in your hamstring back here, maybe a little bit in your hip. Concentrate, keep that belly button strong, core strong and engaged. Almost there, five to go. We're gonna go into a windshield wiper for one minute. All right, almost there, stay with me. You guys are doing really well. Belly button pulled into the spine here especially. Take your time on the lower. Don't let your legs slap down to the ground. Control the movement. Arms straight out to the side. Try to keep a nice smooth arc from side to side. Don't let your feet come away from you like this. This is bad. Try to come straight up over and straight down. Doing great, keep that belly button pulled in. Right into the spine, keep that core engaged. We're here for one minute total. We're gonna go into leg lowers. In three, two, one. Okay, into leg lowers. So we're here, and just lowering the legs, nice, slow and controlled. We're 30 seconds here. 20 to go. Control the motion. Don't get lazy with your knees, try to keep them straight. Doing well. Keep the small of your back engaged to the floor. Push it down. We're gonna rest here in three, two, one. Rest. 30 second rest and we're almost done. We have a 90 second plank and we are home free. Almost there guys. Doing great. Hope you're tired because I sure am. As you can hear and see I'm sweating. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds of rest into just a steady plank and then we're done. So 90 seconds coming up. And you're gonna get into a plank position in five, four, three, two, one. 90 seconds here. Staying strong. You should have your shoulders about right above your elbows. Don't drop your hips down and don't put them up to the ceiling. Try to keep as straight of a line as possible from your shoulders to your ankles. Five, 
minute and 10 to go. This is the one where you just have to zone out. Focus on keeping that core engagement, that belly button pulled into the spine, that quarter flex. You'll start shaking here a little bit probably. Just embrace that, it's normal. Push through the pain. 50 seconds to go, you guys got this, come on. Doing great. Really force yourself to keep that straight line. Don't let anything sag, that's bad. Keep that perfectly straight line. Shoulders all the way to your ankles. Almost 30 seconds to go, come on. Pull that belly button in, keep it tight. Doing great. Challenge yourself. Come on, you got this. 20 to go, almost there. Twelve. Ten. Come on. Perfect lines. Engage the belly button. Pull it into the spine. Five. Three. Two. And rest. Nice job, guys. That's 15 seconds. Sorry, 15 minutes of core. I'm Joey Mantia. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to check out Burn. They let me use their studio. And I'll catch you next time.